The world of digital photography is about to witness another major milestone with the anticipated release of the Canon EOS R7 Mark II. As the successor to the widely popular Canon EOS R7, this new model promises to redefine expectations for APS-C mirrorless cameras. The R7 made waves as a versatile, affordable option for wildlife and sports photographers who needed speed, reach, and performance without the premium price tag of full-frame giants. Now, the Mark II looks set to elevate that formula with groundbreaking upgrades across the board, sensor technology, burst shooting, autofocus, video capabilities, storage, ergonomics, and overall usability. This isn't just a mild refresh, it could be the most advanced APS-C mirrorless camera Canon has ever created. Enthusiasts and professionals alike are paying close attention, because the R7 Mark II could be the perfect balance between portability, price, and performance. If the leaks and insider reports are accurate, it may even rival some of Canon's full-frame models in terms of video quality, autofocus intelligence, and burst speeds, while still maintaining the unique advantages of APS-C crop reach. Why the Canon EOS R7 Mark II matters When Canon first introduced the R7, it immediately became a favorite among photographers looking for professional-grade features in a smaller, lighter body. Wildlife shooters loved the effective reach of APS-C sensors paired with fast burst rates. Sports photographers appreciated its ability to track fast-moving subjects. Content creators admired the hybrid design that handled both stills and video with equal finesse. The R7 Mark II is shaping up to go even further. Based on current leaks, Canon is preparing to roll out new sensor technology, potentially stacked or backside illuminated, offering faster readout speeds, stronger low-light performance, and reduced rolling shutter. Pair this with Canon's industry-leading autofocus and higher burst shooting rates, and you have a camera that might outperform many full-frame models at a fraction of the cost. A next-generation APS-C sensor At the heart of the EOS R7 Mark II is its rumored 32-megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. On paper, this resolution may sound similar to the original R7, but insiders suggest it's a completely redesigned chip. Faster readout, wider dynamic range, and improved low-light sensitivity are expected. For wildlife and sports photographers who rely on clean, detailed shots in challenging conditions, this could be a game-changer. One of the most intriguing possibilities is the use of a hybrid global-slash-rolling shutter sensor. Canon has filed patents for technology that allows a sensor to switch between rolling and global shutter modes. That means photographers could capture birds in flight, race cars, or athletes with zero distortion, while still benefiting from the efficiency of rolling shutter in normal situations. Low-light performance is another area where the R7 Mark II could shine. By adopting stacked or backside illuminated designs, Canon could drastically cut down on noise at higher ISOs, giving photographers cleaner results when shooting at dawn, dusk, or under stadium lights. Electronic shutter only, the future of silent shooting. Multiple sources indicate that the R7 Mark II may ditch the mechanical shutter entirely, making it a fully electronic shutter camera. This bold move underlines Canon's confidence in its sensor technology. For photographers, this brings both opportunities and challenges. On one hand, burst shooting speeds could soar to 30 to 40 frames per second, putting it in the same league as Canon's more expensive models. Silent operation is a major benefit for wildlife shooters, allowing them to capture animals without scaring them off. On the other hand, this places huge pressure on readout speeds to minimize rolling shutter distortion. The inclusion of a new stacked or hybrid sensor suggests Canon has addressed this concern. If executed correctly, the R7 Mark II could become one of the fastest and quietest APS-C cameras ever released. Autofocus that sees everything. Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system is already regarded as one of the most advanced autofocus systems in the industry. The R7 Mark II is expected to feature a refined version with even greater intelligence. Eye detection for both humans and animals will likely be more accurate, subject recognition will expand to include birds, vehicles, 
and perhaps even insects, and customization options for AF zones could give photographers tighter control in unpredictable shooting scenarios. There's even speculation that Canon could introduce eye-controlled autofocus, a feature seen in the EOS R3. If that makes its way to the R7 Mark II, it would provide shooters with an incredibly intuitive way to control focus points simply by looking through the viewfinder. While this may remain exclusive to higher-end models, its possible inclusion speaks volumes about Canon's ambition for the Mark II. Video Capabilities, a true hybrid machine The Canon EOS R7 Mark II isn't just for stills, it's being shaped into a serious hybrid camera for filmmakers, YouTubers, and wildlife videographers. Current reports suggest 7K oversampled 4K recording for incredible detail. 4K at 60 frames per second with oversampling, providing crisp motion capture. 4K at 120 frames per second for dramatic slow motion footage, ideal for sports or nature documentaries. 10 bit 4 2 colon 2 recording for professional grade color grading. Canon Log 3 support, giving filmmakers maximum flexibility in post production. 6K raw external recording via HDMI opening the door for high-end workflows. Cooling is a concern for video-centric users, but Canon appears to be addressing it with passive heat pipe cooling built into the body and compatibility with an optional cooling battery grip. That means longer recording times even in hot environments, something that will make the Mark II a favorite among serious videographers. Storage and buffer performance. With high burst rates and massive video files, storage is critical. The R7 Mark II is rumored to feature dual card slots, ensuring both speed and redundancy. While leaks point to dual UHS-2 SD slots, many in the community are calling for at least one CFexpress Type-B slot. Regardless of the final decision, Canon will need to ensure the buffer and write speeds keep up with 40 frames per second bursts at 32MP resolution. For professionals, the peace of mind offered by dual slots cannot be overstated. Build quality and ergonomics. Ergonomics can make or break a camera, especially for photographers using large telephoto lenses. The R7 Mark II is expected to retain the compact APS-C form factor but with significant refinements. A deeper grip for more secure handling with heavy glass. Redesigned rear controls, making autofocus adjustments faster. Improved weather sealing, ensuring reliability in outdoor environments. A new electronic viewfinder, possibly 5.76M dots with 0.9x magnification and 120Hz refresh rate for smoother subject tracking. Together, these changes will make the camera not only more comfortable but also more capable in professional environments. Who is the Canon EOS R7 Mark II IV? Canon seems to be positioning this camera as the ultimate APS-C hybrid tool. It will appeal to Wildlife photographers needing speed, reach, and portability. Sports shooters requiring high burst rates and accurate tracking. Videographers seeking oversampled 4K, 120 frames per second slow motion, and long recording times. Travel photographers wanting professional results in a lighter body. Content creators and YouTubers who want cinematic footage without full-frame costs. Its direct competitors include the Sony A6700, known for powerful autofocus in APS-C, and the Fujifilm X-H2S, which boasts stacked sensor technology. Canon's challenge will be to offer enough innovation and value to set the R7 Mark II apart. Pricing and Release Date Although Canon hasn't officially confirmed details, the price is expected to land between $1,799 and $1,999, positioning it as an affordable yet professional-grade option. Release is rumored for early 2026, with an official announcement possibly just months away. If accurate, this timeline gives Canon an edge in capturing the APS-C market before competitors release their next-gen models. Should you wait? If you're currently using the EOS R7, the decision to upgrade depends on your priorities. For photographers who want better low-light performance, higher burst speeds, and more advanced video capabilities, waiting for the Mark II is a wise move. 
However, if your current R7 already meets your needs and you mainly shoot in good lighting conditions, it might not be necessary to switch immediately. For new buyers, though, the R7 Mark II could be the perfect entry point into Canon's mirrorless ecosystem, a camera that offers professional-grade performance without the intimidating cost of full-frame gear. Final Thoughts The Canon EOS R7 Mark II has the potential to be a revolutionary APS-C mirrorless camera. More than an incremental update, it represents Canon's vision for the future of hybrid photography and videography, speed, image quality, and intelligent features in a compact body that won't break the bank. From birds in flight to cinematic wildlife documentaries, from sports arenas to YouTube studios, the R7 Mark II looks ready to deliver exceptional results for an incredibly diverse range of creators. If all the rumors hold true, this could become one of the most important cameras in Canon's history, an APS-C powerhouse that redefines what's possible in a mid-range body.